Autopilot can be a lifesaver until something goes wrong. Today's lesson takes us to a recent accident involving Jenny Blaylock, known as Tennessee Fly Girl. Before we continue, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the lives lost in this accident. Jenny and her father were beloved members of their community and their passion for aviation left a lasting impression on so many. This discussion is intended as a learning opportunity with the utmost respect for them and their loved ones. By understanding the challenges they faced, we can work toward a safer aviation community and ensure their legacy contributes to others' safety and growth. Notably, Blaylock had been adjusting to the aircraft's Century 2000 autopilot, which required manual trim adjustments since the plane wasn't equipped with electric trim. The NTSB's preliminary report notes that the elevator trim was set to a nose-down position, which could have contributed to control difficulties if autopilot disengaged unexpectedly, a scenario that could rapidly lead to loss of control if not immediately corrected. In the airlines, pilots invest countless hours in ground school and simulators, mastering every aspect of their systems, avionics, and autopilot before they ever face an emergency. This preparation helps them respond with skill and confidence if an autopilot disconnects or malfunctions. It's how we prepare ourselves to fall back on our training when an unexpected issue arises. I cannot stress enough how important it is to take time to fully understand your aircraft's systems, practice with the autopilot, and know how to take over smoothly if needed. Memorize flows and keep emergency checklists handy. Want to dive deeper into real-world flying skills? Join my live online ground instructor academy. Send an email to chicksuflyofficial at gmail.com to join the waitlist.